Hi, this is Congressman Chris Smith. Special thanks to Christine Hopkins, who has and continues to serve so effectively as the Alzheimer's Association ambassador and has done so throughout many years, and for her leadership in today's 2021 walk to end Alzheimer's disease. 23 years ago, I, along with Congressman Ed Markey, who now serves in the U.S. Senate, created the Congressional Alzheimer's Caucus. Today, our bipartisan caucus has 150 members of the House of Representatives. Together, we fight to enhance awareness, support patients and caregivers, and robustly fund promising research. As you may know, after years of failed legislative efforts to boost research funding, the big breakthrough came in 2011 when we passed the Alzheimer's Association-inspired National Alzheimer's Project Act, or NAPA, a law that I co-authored. NAPA created a new frequently updated and expanded national strategy with the goal of finding a cure or a disease-modifying therapy by 2025. NAPA also created an advisory committee for a whole-of-government response to the Alzheimer's crisis. The impact has been profound. Alzheimer's research funding for the National Institutes of Health was $600 million in 2015. We've quintupled that amount. We've increased the NIH research funding fivefold to $3.1 billion for this year. Like you, I am hopeful that breakthroughs will come. This summer, for the first time since 2003, the FDA approved a new drug, Adelhelm, for treatment of Alzheimer's disease. As you know, the Alzheimer's Association has said that as the first drug that slows progression of the disease, this is the beginning of a completely new future for Alzheimer's treatments. Of course, more trials will follow, but the Alzheimer's Association's Chief Science Officer, Maria Carilla, explained, quote, history has shown us that approvals of the first drug in a new category invigorates the field, increases investments in new treatments and encourages greater innovation. Finally, in Congress, I've co-authored a number of new initiatives, including the Alzheimer's Caregiver Support Act, to provide training and other support services to those who care for their parents, spouses, siblings, and friends who are living today with Alzheimer's disease. Despite the heartbreak and pain and agony, please be encouraged. Your amazing work and tenacious advocacy inspires, mobilizes, and gives us all hope and the strength to persevere. Thank you.